In this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve quadratic equations using a Casio graphical calculator. So for this video, we're going to do some work examples. So we're going to start by solving the equation x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And the first step in solving equations with this calculator is to access the appropriate equation solver. To do that, you're going to select Menu, and you'll see on the second line, on option 8, you have the EQUA, which is short for equation. So if you press 8, that will open up your various equation solvers to choose from. So if you want to solve simultaneous equations, uh, you would use F1. Polynomial solver is the one that you want, and there's also another solver for solving other types of equations. So we're going to choose F2 for the polynomial solver. It will then ask for the degree of the polynomial. And to decide the degree, what you need to do is look at the highest power of x. So, for example, if the lar largest power is squared, that would be option 2. If you had a cubed, so like x cubed, that would be a 3. If you had x to the power of 4, that would be 4. So, in this case, for a quadratic, we've got uh, the highest power being 2. So, we choose 2. And then that will bring up this screen here. What we now need to do is select our coefficients. And I've shown on the left how these match up. So these are the numbers in front of x squared being a, the number in front of x being b, and then c is going to be whatever comes at the end. So we've got a equals 1, because we've only got 1x squared. Then we've got b equals 2, and then c is going to be minus 3. And you must, of course, make sure your equation equals 0, otherwise these numbers will be wrong. That's it now entered. So the next thing you do is you solve it. You can either press F1 to solve or you can press execute down here, and that will give you a vector with the two answers. So x1 is coming out as 1, and then x2 is coming out as minus 3, and that is the correct answers. This calculator will only solve equations that have real roots. Let's say you had an equation like x squared minus 3x plus 4. So we have 1 on the x, we have minus 3 for... Um, the x squared, we have minus 3 on the x, and then we have a 4 on the end. So we enter that, and it will come up with no real roots. So it's incapable of, of solving that. It won't give you roots in terms of imaginary numbers. So if you get no real roots, that means that there isn't any solutions in the real numbers. There's perhaps an imaginary root. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.